You should know some things about the Institutional Review Board approval for the DALN project. Because the DALN involves work with human subjects, its formation required approval from Ohio State University's Institutional Review Board, the IRB, a committee established at all institutions of higher learning that are conducting federally funded research on human subjects um, and the IRB functions to review and approve such research. The DALN project received the initial approval of its application on the 9th of May in 2006 for a project we described as follows. This is an application to establish a National Digital Archive of Literacy Narratives, the DALN. The proposed DALN will help U.S. citizens record their narratives about digital and non-digital literacy practices and literacy values and store any related literacy artifacts, documents, letters, photographs, blogs, songs, etc. Contributions to the DALN project and all submissions to the DALN will be voluntary and communicators will be informed that all DALN materials will be made available to the public on the internet. The DALN will be a public archive beneficial to many groups in our society, including those with particular interest in literacy, communication, and education. Because the DALN would be publicly available, we anticipate a wide range of uses of the archive by such group as educators, librarians, parents, historians, and academics. Like many oral history archives, the literacy narratives and artifacts stored in the DALN will be available for researchers to use. Under item 15 on this IRB form, research objectives, we included the following description. This application does not describe a systematic research study or the objectives of such a study. Rather, it proposes an archival project which will help people record narratives, video, audio, alphabetic, about their literacy practices and values, and to save these narratives along with related literacy artifacts in a place available to the public. The purpose of this project is to establish the first large-scale publicly available archive in the United States that traces both digital and non-digital literacy practices over time. Such an archive has great historical value for the public as a historical, cultural, and educational resource, and the goal of the project is to provide that resource while making sure that potential contributors have a clear understanding of the project, their relationship to it, and their rights. Now, since that original 2006 IRB application, we have modified the IRB materials only slightly. In the supplementary materials for this course, we have included a copy of the IRB application that was revised in 2012. We should talk a little bit about completing the informed consent submission forms. The DALN is primarily a self-archiving repository of personal literacy narratives. This means that any contributor who wants to upload a personal literacy narrative to the DALN or anyone who wants to assist a community member in doing so can upload these stories under the terms of the DALN's Institutional Review Board application that has been filed and approved at Ohio State University. While individuals can and do record and submit their literacy narratives to the DALN entirely on their own, teachers and friends of contributors often help individuals record and upload their stories to the DALN. Often these individuals organize theme-based recording events, provide access to recording equipment and internet connections, and serve as face-to-face -face audiences for the narratives, prompting narrators with questions from the DALM protocol and interjecting unscripted questions in response to narratives because they are so laden with interest. But interviews have no formal relationship to the DALN. Narratives are considered the sole property of the narrators themselves who on their own initiative 
gift or licensure narratives to the DALN. All contributors must complete or approve a set of informed consent submission forms, either online at the DALN website or in hard copy before their literacy narrative can be uploaded. These forms help people understand their rights, any risks associated with contributing a narrative to the archive, and the purpose of the DALN as an archive. How do you go about contributing narratives online and in the field? Individuals who have access to a computer with an internet connection can contribute their own narratives to the DALN online by going to the DALN website, daln.osu.edu, registering their email address, and following a simple informed consent submission process. We have included directions for uploading literacy narratives to the DALN in the sections below. If you're in the field helping individuals to record their literacy narratives, you can assist them in uploading the stories directly to the DALN online by sitting down with them at a computer, one that has access to the internet, and going to the DALN website, registering with an email address, either the contributor's or your own, and helping the contributor walk through the steps of informed consent submission. See the directions below for uploading literacy narratives to the DALN. You can also have individuals complete and sign a paper-based version of the informed consent submission form and at a later time upload the narrative yourself to the DALN when you have access to the internet. In that case, you mail the completed hard copy forms to me, Professor Cynthia Self at the Department of English, Ohio State University, Columbus, Ohio, 43210. During both of these processes, either completing the online submission screens on the DALN website or filling out the paper-based informed consent form in the field and mailing it to us, helps you provide information that is of key importance for a project of documenting community literacy and for the digital archives of literacy narratives itself. The forms ask for information that will allow users of the archive to locate a narrative in the large number of narratives that exist in the archive. The forms also help us understand what the narrative is about and see how the authors characterize their narrative. All this information is stored as metadata that's attached to the literacy narrative in the DALN collection. The author of the narrative, the teller of the story, gets to decide exactly what information should be included, what information people can or should see about the narrative that they have contributed. This metadata information is particularly valuable because when combined with the information from other narratives in the DALN, it describes the patterns in the entire collection offering an informative snapshot of the populations of people who have contributed first-hand narratives to the collection. This information is useful for historians, for educators, for community literacy programs, for scholars, for individuals. It makes up a great deal of the DALN's informational and historical value as a collection. Understanding the importance of this metadata information and how it's incorporated into the DALN is a key responsibility of volunteers or students who help document community literacies. When volunteers help individuals tell their first-hand narratives, they should make sure that storytellers know a few things about the information they give in the informed consent submission form, either online or on paper. First, the only pieces of information storytellers must include are a name for the author, which can be anonymous, and a title for the narrative. All other information is helpful but optional. Second, each piece of information, each piece of metadata, although optional, can be very important. Everything that authors decide to include will help other users of the DALN find a narrative 
understand more information about the narrative, and leave a historical trace of their participation in the project. Three, the information that contributors provide is public, so contributors should only provide information to which they want others to have access. Now, how about uploading narratives to the DALN? The DALN website, daln.osu.edu, provides instructions on how to upload recorded narratives, audio, video, alphabetic text, and multimedia to the archive. To contribute a narrative, you will first have to register your email address with the DALN. The DALN will send a password and log instructions to the email address that you entered, usually in a matter of minutes. We have created a handout, Uploading Literacy Narratives to the DALN, to help you with this process. It is included in the supplemental materials section of this course. Please use the following common formats to ensure that the maximum number of people can access your narrative once it is uploaded. For audio files, use WAV, MP3, M4A, or AIFF. For video, use MOV, WMV, or MP4. And for alphabetic text, use DOC, DOCX, PDF, or RTF. If narratives are longer than 10 minutes in length, please break them up into shorter clips, 10 minutes or less, and number them sequentially, Jane Smith 1.mov, Jane Smith 2.mov, etc. This approach will ensure that the files are of a size that can easily be downloaded by users of the DALN. Please also compress all videos to a medium size and quality. Again, this precaution will ensure that most DALN users can download and view the narratives that you upload. We also suggest identifying a unique keyword for any community literacy projects. To keep all the literacy narratives in your own project together, you're going to need to identify a unique keyword preferably one that doesn't appear naturally, and attach it to all the literacy narratives that you upload to the Digital Archive of Literacy Narratives. For instance, we use the term Black Columbus, no spaces between the words, or Border Narratives, no spaces between the words, as good keywords for different collections in the DALN. If you use a keyword, make sure to attach it to every narrative you upload to the archive. Then on the DALN website, you can search for that keyword and all the narratives with, with that word will be identified in a single list for you. In the assignments that follow, you can familiarize yourself with the IRB application for the Digital Archive of Literacy Narratives, the informed consent permission form that is required by that application, and the metadata information that is collected either in the online submission process on the DALN website or through paper-based print copy of the informed consent permission form in the field. And we also have included a 2006 IRB application for the DALM project. The IRB informed consent submission forms we've included for use in the field where you have no access to, the, to a computer. If the forms are not completed as a part of the online submission process, we cannot upload the narrative to the DALN. So these forms have to be completed and signed and mailed to Professor Cynthia Self, Department of English, Ohio State University, Columbus, Ohio, 43210. We've also included sample questions for prompting a DALN literacy narrative in the What is a Literacy Narrative handout. And we've included directions for uploading literacy narratives to the DALN in uploading literacy narratives to the DALN handout. 